the guy's behind me is actually the restaurant called House of Ke in Hoboken, New Jersey. And I'm curious to see what it tastes like. So let's try it out. Hey guys, Fabio, your host from FR Productions. So today we're doing a food review on the restaurant called House of Ke, located in Hoboken, New Jersey, locally owned. Uh, so with me today is my uh, guest star, Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, today we'll be focusing on three main things, which will be the factors of uh, the actual quality of the food, the service quality, and also the overall aesthetics of the food as well. So um, right now we actually ordered our food, so we're waiting for food to come, and once they come, we'll give you guys more of a uh, detail uh, review on the food. So guys, our food appeared already, so we actually ordered a lot of things, as you see here. So one of the things we ordered, we actually ordered two appetizers. One is, I believe, is the state roll of Texas, which is actually this. It's kind of like a uh, egg roll type of spring roll type of thing, as you see here. Looks pretty cool there. All right, and then also my uh, co-star ordered, uh, what did you order new? This is the Cowboys Cure All. Awesome. Some kind of like fried jalapeno stuff kind of jazz going on. Awesome. Cool. So let's take in first. Let's start with my uh, start with the rolls first, cowboy rolls. So you want to try some too? Sure. So let's try to see what the sauce is actually. Oh wow. That wasn't scripted. He really said, "Oh wow." It's pretty good. It's like a nice, nice flavor, a like nice spice, hot little, little spicy flavor. Nice kick with a healthy balance of a lot of vegetables in it too. Wow, this is, I'm really impressed by this. This is really good. And this is like a, like I said, type of, type of spring roll, type of egg roll type of thing. So it looks pretty cool. Mm. Definitely smooth to the taste. Yeah. 100%. Mm. Wow. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yeah, definitely it's pretty good. For the value of it, for the cost of it, it's really, really good. And how much was it? Do you remember? Yeah, I believe it was about, yeah, about $10. But it's pretty good. So it's like not, not heavy, but nice and light. This way when you eat it, you have enough room for you to order it, um, you know, the main course and even dessert. All right, so guys, next we have our um, Neil's actual little uh, appetizer. So this is, I believe, what was it called again? The Cowboy Shakiro. It's pretty much fried jalapenos and it's stuffed to like, to the brim with all these crazy flavors. Oh wow. So I hope it explodes in my mouth. Yep, straight up. And this is ranch dressing. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a different take on like jalapeno poppers or pepper poppers. So it's pretty cool. The way it looks and everything like that. Wow. Mind you, if I cry on the camera, it's because I can't <laughs> tolerate spicy that much, but we'll see. Uh, I, I got this, guys. Let's see. Um, it's a bit barbecue. Actually, I'm curious to see what barbecue is like. Oh my god. Wow, premium. There's <laughs> literally cream in your mouth. Wow. Wow, yeah, it is like pure cream. Wow, it's really good. Oh my god. Really, really is a cure all. Folks. Wow. Really, really good. You can see from like the um, natural pop, you see like the pepper inside of it. But as soon as you crunch into it, it's so nice and soft that you can feel the texture of it. It's really good. I'm about right. to steal the secret formula behind this. Oh my. Mmm. <laughs> Don't worry, this is just a fry. Nothing <laughs> really too great. Really recommend this actually appetizer. Mm. Now where do we go next? Oh, good question. <laughs> so guys, next up we actually have our K burger. So this is our K burger. I ordered it with the um, curly fries on the side, but also this has a medium uh, done burger. Has some bacon on it, some cheese, some tomato held up with a uh, wooden stick so it doesn't fall apart. All right, guys. So let's actually dig into this and see what it looks like inside. Remember, I ordered medium, so let's see if they got medium right. I ordered the K burger too, but the only difference was they didn't tell me I can sub out for curly fries. <laughs> still good though. Still good. All right, let's uh, see what it looks like inside. Hmm. Just a little inside what it looks like. Yep, they got yep, they got medium right. Nice and a little pink inside. It's pretty good. So we got like I said, onions, some tomatoes, some cheese, some bacon, a nice bun. Oh, everything looks really amazing actually. So I'm actually can't wait to dig, in, dig into this one. So let's see. I don't mean to interrupt, but 
I just gotta flex. I'm that guy who gets that one curly fry amongst their fries. Impeccable service. Impeccable. Awesome. So let's try it out. Alright. Cool. This is really, really good. Mm. Wow. So you can taste the char in it. It's really good. Reminds me of a backyard, a backyard barbecue. Really good. Mm. Wow, all the condiments, all the ingredients flow perfectly, to be honest. Because mm. you have the nice taste of the sauce, nice taste of the bacon. All that come together, combination of something really amazing. Wow. I'm actually happy I wrote this burger. So if you guys, if you guys are burger lovers, definitely order this burger. It's called the K Burger. Um, so if you guys are, you know, if it's something new to you guys, like, you know, Texan style food, definitely try the K Burger. It's really good. Trust me, you won't regret it. Mm. Mm. As you saw, I was eating a burger with utensils. Please don't mind Really me. formal. It's in my quirk. It's part of my character development. I don't like eating messy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm traditional. I like rabbit burger. It's really, really good, to be honest. Um, all right, let's try the curly fries. Because, come on, curly fries is like a staple of burgers. They're going to start judging me now. Wow. It's like everything is light here. Like it's not really greasy. It's actually really crispy. Nice. Wow. A little curly fry. I'm sorry, but I can't eat regular fries. I always like curly fries. It's my favorite go-to. Mm. So I'm the villain of this are. story? You're the outlier. There you go. Mm. Wow. Actually, I really want to keep eating these fries. They're really good. Alright guys, so now it's for the main course, which is actually, I got brisket with some pork shoulder, which actually looks really appetizing, because I'm a big barbecue type of guy. I want to make sure all my meats is really tender, okay. juicy, savory flavor. So, so let's take it and see what this tastes like. So we have a couple sauces here, so I'm just, I believe this is barbecue, this is ketchup, and this is a mystery sauce, which I really don't know what it is, but let's try it out. And they also give you like a little jalapeno on the side if you want that too. Blue jalapeno guy. All right, so this is the pork shoulder because I, I know what brisket tastes like. I actually never really tried pork, pork shoulder as often, so I kind of want to see what it's like now. This is the pork shoulder right here. Mm. Really good, right? Yeah. So let's see. Let's a little sauce in it. See what it tastes like. A mystery sauce. Look at that. Nice and juicy, tender meat. All right, let's see. We have the meat. Mm. Oh wow! Whoa! What is this? Dude, this is. Excuse me? The sauce is freaking amazing. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead, man, dude. Take a chunk out of it. Like, the meat is good, but dude, the sauce is freaking amazing. I didn't, I didn't think it would be that good. Forgive me for my pork, porkery skills. Mm. It's like, I never really tasted a sauce like this before. What, is it, what does it taste like? I don't even know. It's really good though. Good crap. Disclaimer, I'm Filipino. So this kind of takes me back to Jollibee. To be honest with you, it's like the gravy. So I feel right at home, 100%. <laughs> All right, let's try the barbecue sauce now. Oh, got a little bit in there, a lot in there. All right, let's see what it looks like. Mm, my All right, guys, bon appetit. Wow. Ooh. This barbecue sauce, really mixy. Good combination. Mm. But honestly, this is a really nice and sweet barbecue sauce. It's sweeter than most barbecues I've tasted. But still, it gets the job done. It's really, really good. Mm. Left a little bit there. Ooh. Ah. Mm. Honestly, yeah, 
I think this is probably the best. Oh, thank you. This sauce, I don't even know what the name of it is actually. I mean, ask the waitress, so I actually really don't know what it is, but it's really, really good. Oh wow, I got some more. Awesome. So now, let's start the brisket actually. Out of the two, <laughs> definitely gonna go with this. Yeah, the brisket is like really Ignore one of the most coveted bias. meat when barbecuing. This is like one of the staples when doing back arm, backyard barbecuing. All right, let's see how it comes out. All right, so, cool. I'm gonna take a little bit off of it actually. I'm gonna throw the whole thing to get a good, a good chunk of it. Dip into the mystery sauce. All right, let's do that. Nice and juicy. Wow. Really savory. Really tender, like it just falls apart in your, your tongue. Really good. Normally, a lot of people, when they, they cook a brisket, they always make the mistake of making it too rough. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but generally, I love tender meat. So, this actually falls apart in your, your tongue. Really good. I just did that one more time. I'm sorry, now. I just got I love this right now. Mmm. Amazing. Mmm. Awesome, dude. Show me a piece. I don't want to deny you of the brisk. Oh, man. It's enough to go around, to be honest. I'll give you a good portion of this, because I ordered the half pound brisket and half pound pork shoulder. Hey, man, go ahead. Hard to believe that's half a pound. I feel oh, yeah. like it's, you got more than that. No, yeah, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is that a seal of approval? It's really chewy. I love chewy meat. I feel like the sauce just adds a layer of complexity beyond our human understanding. Wow, oh, it's really, really deep. Muy deep. <laughs> Honestly, because it's a meat alone, it's pretty good. But the thing is that when I put that in the sauce, it's like a freaking whole new level, to be honest. Like, it's, it's really amazing. sweet, though. It's yeah. like a sweet kind of mm -hmm. flavor to it, but then there's kind of like not too big mm. of a kick, but just like think of it like a little toddler, like, you know, kicking for you for attention. Kind of kick. Wow. I mean, just cut a little bit of jalapenos just because yeah, I love me the jalapenos. I'm like, can't go to Texas barbecue without jalapeno. I can't, because I can't handle the spice. Oh, come on. I got a little, a little jalapeno there. Now let's dip this some sauce. Let's do the mystery sauce, just because, you know, why not? Actually, miss, what's the name of this sauce, by the way? That is a um, vinegar-based barbecue sauce that we have. Awesome. Wow, it's amazing, to be honest. Yeah? This is way, way, really, really good. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Yeah, there, guys. Vinegar-based uh, barbecue sauce. Really, really good. So let's dip it a little bit more. Boom. Mm. Yes. Come on. For all my snacks out there, you gotta try the jalapeno. It's really spicy. Come on, we love spice. Mm. Dude, I'm in love with this brisket. I'm sorry. We got some fries though. Why not? <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, look at saucy right there. Mm. Right there. Mm. Dude, this place, why haven't we gone here before? Because we didn't know about it until like, what, yesterday? When yeah, we were like, to be honest, we were here about, I think yesterday, actually a week ago. Yeah, we do photography sh uh, shoots, photo shoots. Photo shoots. And then, yeah, and then we came across this place, the House of Cat, which is like, what is that? Like, I wanted like a Spanish restaurant, it's like a you know, what, what kind of restaurant? It's actually a Texan restaurant with really good meat. Wow, I'm really impressed to be honest. Really good. Yeah. If you're gonna go out to eat, definitely support local businesses. You want to give that money to local businesses and anything like fast food. This is actually really amazing. Awesome. Wow, dude, definitely good place to take a date. Really good. The waiter gave me a thumbs up. I gave her a thumbs up back. <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> Our service right now has been amazing. We even, we sat down, like we got here, maybe like, what time was it? Yeah, we were like three o'clock. We sat down like within a minute. The waitress was amazing. She's been really attentive to us, asking us if we have, you know, uh, if we need any help or what we want to order. So she's been really helpful, guys. 
the service is actually really good. And again, curly fry in the fry, 10 out of 10, 100 percent meal you, seal of approval. Look at that, you got that one curly fry with your regular fries? Come on, that's a good deal, right? Please. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Come on. Mm. Oh, really good. Muy bueno. Delicioso. Definitely, guys, because there's different options, um, different meats you can order, and the minimum is about half a pound. Definitely, definitely get the pork shoulder. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Nice, nice cook on this. Beautiful chunk. A lot of it, actually. This, like I said, it's hard to believe this is half a pound, but this is really good. Let me just try some ketchup, you know? Ketchup is pretty good, but definitely. This vinegar based barbecue sauce is to die for. Definitely get this one. This is really, really amazing, nice and rich, savory, saucy. Definitely visit this uh, restaurant. This is located in Hoboken, New Jersey, actually right next to the pier. A nice cinematic view of New York. It's freaking beautiful. You see over there, look at those different look at those different shots. A beautiful scenery while you munch down on food. It's really amazing. And if Godzilla attacks, give me a shot. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, guys, so definitely just be safe, just be mindful, wear your mask if you can, uh, social distance as well. Um, but definitely try this food, this is freaking amazing. Oh. Six feet, we're watching mm -hmm. from six feet. So guys, this was the review on the House of K, which is located in Hoboken, New Jersey. It was phenomenal, to be honest. Like, honestly, like if you guys are really interested in trying like barbecue, Texas-style food, Definitely come down to Hasuke. It's really good, especially the sauces. Like I tried that uh, barbecue with uh, sauce with a vinegar uh, base. It was freaking amazing. Oh, it was so good. What did you think about it, Neil? I thought Hasuke was really great. Um, definitely the brisket. That's a, my one-two recommendation, and especially the um, what do you call it? The cowboy's go-to or cure all fried jalapeno poppers stuffed with creamy goodness. You can't go wrong, 100%. Yeah. I tried the Texas roll for appetizers. It was freaking amazing. Even his, yeah, his, his uh, poppers was freaking on point. They were popping. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had the uh, House of Cat burger, which was pretty good. Like, if you guys don't know what to order, if you guys want to try a burger, this is actually a great starting point. It's really good. Nice, savory, good combination of flavor. And then, last but not least, the brisket and the pork shoulder was freaking amazing to die for. Especially with that sauce. I definitely recommend it, guys. Try the sauce. Trust me. You'll, you won't regret it. Just ask for the Krabby Patty secret formula. Yeah, honestly, the service was on point. People, the, the waitress was on point. She was on, really attentive. She was always there asking if we needed help. So it was definitely really awesome. And the food, the aesthetic, it was aesthetically pleasing. Nice views. Looks amazing just by looking at it. It was mouth watering. And the taste, ooh la la, it was freaking awesome, guys. So definitely, guys, stay tuned for um, more videos about food reviews. and. Do support this restaurant and all other local restaurants within uh, you know your area, whether it be New Jersey, the U.S., or even abroad. So, guys, this is our food review. Uh, this is pretty amazing, guys. So, stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more features and more content. Our about, food review. Oh, communism. <laughs> <laughs> more about food reviews on different restaurants. And, guys, let me know if you guys want to try different restaurants, different foods. I'll be happy to try them out. So, guys, stay tuned. See you like, later. comment, and subscribe.